Greetings from Maven Consulting Services. Today, I'm going to talk to you about a live question answer session that happened by Mr. Don Heflin, who is the Minister Counselor for Counselor Affairs. So this question answer session happened on the April 18th, uh, and it was live on Facebook, where he spoke about their plans for the new student visas that, that are going to uh, open up not only student visas but he spoke a lot of other things but i'm going to summarize idly only what he spoke about student visas uh, it's a kind of a good news so they can definitely look for a lot of hope in the coming days what he said was 62000 f1 visas were approved last year alone and he was quite optimistic that they plan on approving more visas for the fall of 2022. Last year, they, we were in a kind of a similar dilemma where students were facing huge problems when it came to booking a slot. So he said that last year, they started opening slots for mid-June. And this year, they would not wait until mid-June, but they would start opening slots from mid-May. And they say that the interviews ideally would begin from June 1st. So that's a kind of welcome news. We can keep waiting and monitoring and hopefully from mid-May they open up a lot of slots and people are able to get their slots for making sure that they attend university starting fall of 2022. So last year they opened in mid-June but this time they're going to plan opening them from mid-May. So it's a wait and watch and we will keep you updating on that. He also spoke in length about the changes to the F1 student visa interview and they plan on bringing in some policies regarding the booking of F1 student visa interviews. So what exactly he went on mentioning is they're going to try and change the strategy this time. So what happened mid-June last year when they opened the slots, ultimately there were a lot of applicants waiting and the service crashed. So genuine students were also not given an opportunity to book dates. And people who had earlier F1 visa refusals got slots even for the second attempt and the third attempt. So this time, the change that they are going to do is they are going to prohibit students coming in for the interview for the second and the third time if they were refused the first time. So they are going to uh, devise a strategy where I'm sure on the US Travel Docs account, if uh, they are going to put in some preliminary questions and if your visa is refused the first time, uh, they may not allow you or rather it's a kind of confirmed thing that they will not allow you to attend the second and the third attempt for the fall of 2022. So what he intends to target is that more first timers should be given an opportunity for F1 students. So they plan on pushing hard to give a genuine opportunity for applicants who are coming in for the first time for uh, the visa approval for student visas and they are going to advise and he's clearly advised that uh, don't focus on the second and the third attempt and make sure that you get it on the first. You get your interview on the first attempt itself approved. So he says making that will help a lot of genuine students get appropriate dates for the fall. And he also spoke or highlighted about the visa interview waiver program where they are opening the Dropbox facility if applicants are having any approved previous US visas. So he says a lot of Dropbox appointments will also be available from mid-June. So students need not panic if they hold any sort of earlier US visas approved, uh, whether valid or not valid, they would qualify for a visa interview waiver program and they would be able to get Dropbox appointments. And these Dropbox appointments would be available or a lot of them, of course, even now they are available from June, but he says a lot of them will be opened up from mid-June as well. The, the reason or the analysis clearly goes here that the US consulates in India are not working in full function at the moment. He says they are working only with a two thirds of the capacity. And that is the reason 
uh, there is a huge backlog and uh, lack of staff and uh, consulate officials who are not available to go full-fledged on what was uh, before the pre-pandemic era. So he says they will try their best to streamline a lot of process. Uh, my own uh, students' parents uh, are waiting to travel to the US to meet their children or attend graduation ceremonies and they've been waiting for two long years for a B1, B2 tourist visas to open. So he, uh, in a subtle way, commented on that as well, that starting September 2022, they are for sure going to open in phased manner B1, B2, that is a tourist visa spots in India. And hopefully that comes as a good news and a welcome news to a lot of parents or travelers who are waiting to travel to the US. And he says that they intend to work with 100% capacity starting January 2023 to streamline the process completely and make sure that it doesn't cause any sort of inconveniences for any visa category applicants and the consulates start working with 100% capacity because at the moment he confirms that there are only two-thirds the capacity that they're working at. So uh, we'll keep you posted on it. We'll have more information on that as and how we have from our resources. And uh, we hope that all students uh, are able to get their visas approved for the fall 2022 in the best of the efforts to attend colleges from August, September 2022. Thank you once again.